is Deborah Marchand, and this is my husband, David Goldman. And we first heard about Host for Hospitals um, after the hurricane, H H earthquake, earthquake in, in Haiti. Haiti, and that they were thinking about transporting children to um, Children's Hospital. We, we looked at it and said, you know, we're lucky enough that we have that we are uh, healthy and happy, and we have the the resources, and we have a um, a, a layout in our home that allows for uh, for guests. My name is Dave McCrum. Um, I'm here because my son was in a neurological brain accident uh, eight months ago yesterday. When when the accident first happened, Ben was in a coma for approximately ten days. Uh, after he came out of his coma, Ben was very, very distraught and distressed. He didn't really acknowledge anything for a long, long time. Uh, the very first hospital was Christiana. Then he was transferred to Moss up in Northeast Philadelphia. He failed at Moss uh, medically, so we had to have him transferred back to Wilmington. Then he was transferred to New Jersey. I didn't know what I was gonna do. And we also thought that it was good for our children to see that it was important to help out your fellow man and, and, and help out those in need. The organization has been wonderful in not only placing guests that are appropriate for our lifestyle and, uh, and letting us host people who like kids and who can deal with the chaos of you know, three kids running around. And our kids seem to genuinely like having people here. I think they like the idea that they're, they're doing something, not exactly sure what they're doing, but that they're participating in something bigger. When he's here, we know that we're doing our best to make him feel at home. And, yes, you are. And, no. um, and he's really appreciated. It makes feel, me feel good about what we're doing. When I first saw him, I was a because I thought it would be me be... So that was I didn't what you were expected? Yeah, I wasn't <laughs> expecting someone to have gray hair coming. Oh, <laughs> That's okay. So whenever I see new people, I kind of guess who they're going to be. So when, when Dave first walked in, I knew that my mom had told me that his son's in the hospital and all that. So I kind of f found a couple of pieces to the puzzle. I've spent 12 to 24 hours a day with my son in the hospital and the facilities that he's at. And after that, you just want to wind down someplace that, you know, is not store-bought like a motel. That's what's great about Host for Hospitals. It's very home, home feeling. I remember one Sunday morning I, when I slept through the alarm that I you know, normally set for 6 o'clock because I was just so tired. I heard all the little pitter-patter of the feet upstairs and I just smiled and, and, and had a flashback of when my son was young and that really felt good. But I think part of the program that's nice is, you know, we know what we're getting yeah. into and we want to be able to support our guests both, you know, physically and logistically, mm -hmm. but there's also the emotional side. It's, it's hard. Uh, you come home or come here and I think I, I could, I'm a phone call away from my son, I'm 10 minutes from there, mm -hmm. which is a very good feeling. Well, I know that for, for me, whenever you came in the door, I always felt like I would say, how it was Ben today? Mm -hmm. And leave it as open-ended as possible. And At first, when the accident first happened, uh, I didn't really, all my friends asked how things were going, and I just didn't really get into detail. Mm -hmm. But in time, eight months down the road, it, it's getting easier to talk about it. And, you know, it, it helps, it really does. Watching you go through it, mm -hmm even from where we sit, it, it's hard. I mean, I can't, you, you know, I can't imagine. So if the little bit we do is listen to you come in when you when you walk in, that's- Well, I look forward to you yeah. on that stoop every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, there, right, 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 then right. I'm happy to do that. Hey, Dave. Hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. How's Ben? Ben's doing great. Yeah? Yeah. Any, any big news? got the appointment for Noro Orthopedic Surgeon. Oh my gosh. She called me today after about four days of waiting. Oh my gosh, said, that's really yeah, good month. news. Yeah. Oh, so are you going to see him this? It uh, would be the 24th. The 24th. Or the, the Tuesday, whatever that Whatever is. that last Tuesday in a month But is. she only sees three people a month. Oh, that's awesome. So he said, we, he looked at his case and he 
thinks he's really good kind of thing. Oh, that's really, so I talked really to, good. So I talked to him, told him about it. He's like, my arm. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know how they're stuck. Yeah, right? yeah. So, oh, that's, so, you know, cause that's he, huge. You know, I said goodbye to him. He's like, so, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm having fun with my new traveling friends. <laughs> That's what's great about this organization. I, I, you know, it's temporary, and it's but it's you're it's saving me thousands and thousands of dollars in lodging mm -hmm. and travel expenses, which I I could never have given my son the care in the last two months that I've had without this. There's there's no other way I could have done it. Now I can honestly say today he's coherent. He's got his memory. He's total mind is there and he's made huge steps forward. There's no place like home. There's no place like a host for a hospital's home.